Flint Elementary School in Eau Claire had a new principal for today. Jeremy Langrieb shows us how the small first grader handled some big responsibilities. Hi, Lita. Hi, Noe. Hi, Royce. That is August Johnston, a first grader at Flynn Elementary. He is one of six students who won a raffle to be a principal for the day. This is actually kind of timing for my arm. <laughs> but the job comes with some challenges. It's like so much cuz, yep. barely any, so much barely, so much. After greeting students, he led people inside to begin their lessons for the day. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. August led the morning announcements. Good morning, Flynn Flyers. Join me to the Flynn Flyer Promise. And he even recited the Flyer Promise by heart. I promise to learn and play peacefully and be responsible and do my part to, to treat others with kindness and respect and use self-control. I am proud to be a Flynn Flyer. We have a school that cares. Once announcements were complete, he visited classrooms and answered questions about himself. What's your favorite football team? Green Bay Packers. Lastly, August helped raise the flag for the day. I had a rope and, and, I pulled, and I pulled it down so then the flag will go up. Flynn's grown-up principal loves using this moment to get to know the students. It's really kind of special because I get to spend one-on-one -on -one time with one student for well over an hour to do a, a lot of different positive things. It's also a great way for kids to interact with each other in ways they usually don't. It's really neat to see them in a different setting, and it's really a chance for them to be leaders, but overall it really helps build community. When asked what he wants to be when he grows up, August says, Probably a principal or an engineer or a mechanic. Mm -hmm. What makes you want to be a principal? Because they, they do fun things. <laughs> yeah, just ask any principal. Great job, August. That was Jeremy Landgrieve reporting. Principal for the Day is a fundraiser to help pay for yearbooks so they can be free for students, and they raised over $600 toward their goal.